Morris Alba, Wikipedia article audio. Morris Albavar. Alba, Morris Albavar. Multicolis Loudon. Description. Taxonomy. Cultivation. Uses. Medical uses. Other uses. Gallery. Morris Alba, known as white mulberry, is a fast-growing, small to medium-sized mulberry tree which grows to 10-20 m tall. It is generally a short-lived tree with a lifespan comparable to that of humans, although there are some specimens known to be over 250 years old. The species is native to northern China, and is widely cultivated and naturalized elsewhere. The white mulberry is widely cultivated to feed the silkworms employed in the commercial production of silk. It is also notable for the rapid release of its pollen, which is launched at over half the speed of sound. On young, vigorous shoots, the leaves may be up to 30 cm long, and deeply and intricately lobed, with the lobes rounded. On older trees, the leaves are generally 515 cm long, unlobed, cordate at the base and rounded to accumulate at the tip, and serrated on the margins. The trees are generally deciduous in temperate regions, but trees grown in tropical regions can be evergreen. The flowers are single sex catkins, male catkins are 2 3.5 cm long, and female catkins 1 2 cm long. Male and female flowers are usually on separate trees although they may occur on the same tree. The fruit is 1 2.5 cm long, in the species in the wild it is deep purple, but in many cultivated plants it varies from white to pink, it is sweet but bland, unlike the more intense flavor of the red mulberry and black mulberry. The seeds are widely dispersed in the droppings of birds that eat the fruit. The white mulberry is scientifically notable for the rapid plant movement involved in pollen release from its catkins. The stamens act as catapults, releasing stored elastic energy in just 25 s. The resulting movement is approximately 350 miles per hour, over half the speed of sound, making it the fastest known movement in the plant kingdom. Two varieties of Morris alba are recognized. Cultivation of white mulberry for silkworms began over 4,000 years ago in China. In 2002, 6,260 km2 of land were devoted to the species in China. The species is now extensively planted and widely naturalized throughout the warm temperate world. It has been grown widely from Indian subcontinent west through Afghanistan and Iran to southern Europe for over a thousand years for leaves to feed silkworms. More recently, it has become widely naturalized in disturbed areas such as roadsides and the edges of tree lots, along with in urban areas in much of North America, where it hybridizes readily with a locally native red mulberry. There is now serious concern for the long-term genetic viability of red mulberry because of extensive hybridization in some areas. White mulberry leaves are the preferred feedstock for silkworms, and are also cut for food for livestock in areas where dry seasons restrict the availability of ground vegetation. The leaves are prepared as tea in Korea. The fruit are also eaten, often dried, or made into wine. In traditional Chinese medicine, the fruit is used to treat prematurely gray hair, to tenifa the blood, and treat constipation and diabetes. The bark is used to treat cough, wheezing, edema, and to promote urination. It is also used to treat fever, headache, red dry and sore eyes. For landscaping, 
a fruitless mulberry was developed from a clone for use in the production of silk in the U.S. The industry never materialized, but the mulberry variety is now used as an ornamental tree where shade is desired without the fruit. A weeping cultivar of white mulberry, Morris alba pendula, is a popular ornamental plant. The species has become a popular lawn tree across the desert cities of the southwestern United States, prized for its shade and also for its sweet, white fruits. The plant's pollen has become problematical in some cities where it has been blamed for an increase in hay fever. Dental caries, the root bark of Morris alba has been used as a traditional medicine in Asian countries and exhibits antibacterial activity against food poisoning microorganisms. Using activity against S. mutans in bioassay guided fractionation of a methanol extract of dried root bark, and organic solvent fractions of this extract, the active antibacterial constituent was identified as coenin G. The compound displayed in mic of 8 mu gml1 against S mutans, which was comparable to chlorhexidine and vancomycin. Time kill assays indicated that S mutans was completely inactivated by 20 mu gml1 coenin G within one minute, while testing against other bacteria suggested that the compound displayed preferential antimicrobial activity against karyogenic bacteria. Electron microscopic examination of S. mutans cells treated with coenin G indicated that the mode of antibacterial action was inhibition or blocking of cell growth, as treated cells showed a disintegrated surface and an unclear cell margin. Hypolipidemic and antioxidant effects from freeze-dried powder of mulberry fruit. Neuroprotective effects in in vitro and in vivo. Albanol A, isolated from the root bark extract of M. alba, may be a promising lead compound for developing an effective drug for treatment of leukemia. Moracin M, stepogenin 4 beta D glucoside, and mulbericide A were isolated from the root bark of Morris alba L and all produced hypoglycemic effects. Mulbericide A, a glycosylated stilbenoid can be useful in the treatment of hyperuricemia and gout. A methanol extract of Morris alba roots showed adaptogenic activity, indicating its possible clinical utility as an anti-stress agent. Morris alba leaf extract help restore the vascular reactivity of diabetic rats. Free radical-induced vascular dysfunction plays a key role in the pathogenesis of vascular disease found in chronic diabetic patients. An ethanolic extract of mulberry leaf had anti-hyperglycemic, antioxidant, and anti-glycation effects in chronic diabetic rats, which may suggest its use as food supplement for diabetics. Snake bite Morris alba plant leaf extract has been studied against the Indian viperus slash Daboya russellii venom induced local and systemic effects. The extract completely abolished the in vitro proteolytic and hyaluronolytic activities of the venom. Edema, hemorrhage, and myonecrotic activities were also neutralized efficiently. In addition, the extract partially inhibited the procoagulant activity and completely abolished the degradation of a alpha chain of human fibrinogen. Thus, the extract processes potent anti-snake venom property, especially against the local and systemic effects of Daboya russellii venom. Leaves and Fruit Fruitless Mulberry Trees Pennsylvania State Champion Morris Alba at Longwood Gardens Leaves and Flowers in the Spring Data related to Morris Alba at Wiki Species Morris Alba Var Alba, Morris Alba Var Multicolis USDA Plants Profile for Morris Alba White Mulberry, Morris Alba Germplasm Resources Information Network
Agricultural Research Service, United States Department of Agriculture, Morton Arboretum, Diagnostic Photos of White Mulberry Tree, Invasive.org, U.S. National Forest Service, Invasive Species Weed of the Week Morris Alba.